In a previous video of Sailing Lisa Jane, I mentioned that my father, Ted Hedges, was the inspiration for me to build my own wooden boat. I thought I'd share with you part of his story, the part of him being a dinghy sailor and boat builder. Ted took his first sailing lesson on Botany Bay when he was in his early 30s. That one lesson ignited a passion that would last him a lifetime. In the 1960s, if you wanted to go sailing, you built yourself a plywood boat. Ted's first build was a heron, named after my mother, Gwendolyn. Indeed, all of Dad's boats were called Gwendolyn, and my mother christened them all. He believed in building strong boats, and all of his dinghies were robustly and beautifully built. Ted joined the Concord Ride Sailing Club in the late 1960s, and raced there on and off for almost 40 years, enjoying close racing against club legends like Charlie Grimwood and Chris Lloyd Owen. He also raced at other clubs, but CRSC was always his sailing spiritual home. After years racing his heron, Ted succumbed to the idea of faster is better and was attracted to the NS14 development class. He built a mouldy NS, so called because it didn't have hard chimes, but rather beautifully round bilges. Ted converted the mouldy into a manly graduate with a spinnaker and trapeze for the crew. We raced it on Botany Bay, which was an exciting place to sail. We even sailed three up with my brother and I as crew taking turns on trapeze. Ted's next build was another NS14. He had his own design ideas of what makes a fast hull and modified the plans of an existing Angelique design to accommodate his ideas. This boat was fast, but was more difficult to sail due to its very narrow waterline. I remember being surprised that we capsized several times the first time we were sailing at Clontarf on Sydney Harbour. She was fast, but unforgiving. Continuing the faster is better theme, Ted then built a 16 foot Cobra catamaran. He didn't keep it long, preferring instead to return to sail monohulls. Ted's next build was arguably his best boat. It was a Hartley TS-16, which he raced at Tremoyne Sailing Club. As always, the Hartley was very heavy, but was built to last. This boat was probably his most enjoyable and relaxing boat to sail. It was well balanced, with really good manners, even in a heavy blow. It was the only boat that Ted regretted selling. Over 30 years later, I managed to track the boat down and found it still structurally sound but the owner had unfortunately replaced the cabin with a cuddy and converted the rig to gaff. Ted's last build was his biggest by far. It was a six metre trailerable jar cat catamaran. It was so wide that he had to remove the wooden trim around the garage entrance just to get it out. It was mostly for cruising. The cabin was so large it allowed a double mattress as a bed. We did race it in one multi-hole regatta on Lake Macquarie. I remember well one long broad reach down the lake with spinnaker set and the boat was flying. We really did push it to its limits but it wasn't competitive against the more racing orientated catamarans and trimarans. Now that Ted was getting older it was getting more difficult for him to launch and retrieve this boat so Ted sold it and embarked on his latter stage in sailing. His older sailing years were enjoyed either crewing for my brother in his various yachts and a large cruising catamaran, or racing a single-handed spiral dinghy back at Concord Ride Sailing Club. He was still racing that dinghy into his mid-70s. Ted loved sailing, but I suspect he loved boat building even more. I have many happy memories of him working in the garage 
with that uniquely comforting odour of wood shavings and glue. He is undoubtedly the reason why I also have a passion for sailing small dinghies like my own Lisa Jane.